is the book of Leviticus chapter 20. And the point is, um, verse 23, I'm going to start at verse 22. It reads, ye shall therefore keep all my statutes and all my judgments and do them that the land, whither I bring you to dwell therein, spew you not out. Verse 23, and ye shall not walk in the manners of the nation, which I cast out before you, for they committed all these things, and therefore I abhorred them. Verse 24, but I have said unto you, ye shall inherit their land, and I will give it unto you to possess it, a land that floweth with milk and honey. I am the Lord, Yahweh, your power, which have separated you from other people. Verse 25, ye shall therefore put difference between clean beasts and unclean, and between unclean fowls and clean. And ye shall not make your souls abominable by beast or by fowl or by any manner of living thing that creep up on the ground, which I have separated from you as unclean. Mm -hmm. Verse 26, and ye shall be holy unto me, for I am the Lord, Yahweh, am holy and have severed you from, from other people that ye should be mine. This is the book of uh, Second Kings, chapter 17. When you go into um, Deuteronomy chapter 7, verse 6, it reads, For Israel is a holy people, meaning um, separate. But, you know, although it was set up through the spirit that uh, Salakia, Salakia um, Israel was set up to be given the law, statutes, and commandments. It was set up through the spirit for Israel to go off as well, you know. Um, that's where the book of Romans talks about the creature being made subject to vanity, you know. So um, this is Second Kings chapter 17, because although we were given these holy laws, such as commandments, our people have always wanted to be part of the heathen or, you know, wanted to take on their customs. Although you have the power at the universe, the Salaki, the power of the universe, basically saying that he has chosen your people to be separated from the rest of the world. You know, our people have literally rejected that, you know, and that's why the scriptures talk about uh, many shall know about death by pain, because uh, when you had these opportunity to come back to the law, such as commandments of Yahweh Bashim Yahushua, you rejected it. This is the book of second Kings chapter 17. And uh, point is verse, I'm going to start at verse 7. Point is verse 8. Well, I'm going to read up. I'm going to read um, 2 Kings 17, verse 7. For so it was that the children of Israel had sinned against the Lord, Yahweh, their power, which had brought them up out of the land of Egypt, from under the hand of Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and had feared of the gods. Verse 8. And walked in the statues of the heathen whom the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem, Yahushua, cast out from before the children of Israel. And of the kings of Israel, which they had made, and the children of Israel did secretly those things that were not right against the Lord, Yahweh, their power, and they built them high places in all their cities, from the tower of the watchmen to the fenced city. And they set them up images and groves in every high hill and under every green tree. And there they burnt incense in all the high places as did the heathen whom the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh carried away before them and wrought wicked things to provoke the Lord Yahweh to anger. For they served idols, whereof the Lord Yahweh has said unto them, Ye shall not do this thing. So going into the point that, you know, Israel basically taking on the customs of the other nations. So, this has been something perpetually going on since the beginning. So um, I'm going I'm to get this, though. It's, it's a point I want to make. The Lord has always said, uh, this is the book of Amos, chapter 5, verse um, 21. And it reads, I hate, I despise your feast days, and I will not smell in your solemn assemblies. Though ye offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them. Neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts. Because, you know, Jake had been basically being hypocrites. They was on on one hand acting like they was um 
serving Yahweh Hashem Yahshua, but secretly they were um, committing iniquity. You know, they, you know, um, what well, it's a scripture to talk about. Um, the, the people um, say that they honor me with their lips, but um, roughly bear phrases talk about how they not honor me. I'm going to find it. Bear with me for a second. So, lock it. so it was both in the old and the new. Um, Matthew 15 and 8. These people honor me with their lips, but their hearts are far from me. You know, they saying um, that they believe and they trust and they saying that they worship, but in secretly, you know, in the mind and a heart, they, they, they really, you know, are um, chasing these other gods, you know. Hell, Jake even um, idolizes himself. So, um, Though ye offer me burnt offerings and your meat offerings, I will not accept them, neither will I regard the peace offerings of your fat beasts. So, um, but let judgment run down as waters and righteousness as a mighty stream. And the Lord coming with judgment. And that's why you're seeing all these um different judgments. I mean, atrocities and, and, and different um different things just it's constantly going. Brothers been in the spirit of saying that. Uh you know, I did a video about uh, a kangaroo killed his owner. <laughs> you know what I mean? And I swear, since I did this video, it'd been like eight videos. Well, eight articles talk about how these animals, like just recently in Slavic Village in um, the city of Cleveland, Slavic, Slavic Village, basically, uh, just like maybe a couple hours ago, a pit bull basically viciously um, attacked some. Uh, I, don't, I didn't read the article like that, but it just said a deadly vicious pit bull attack mm -hmm. so you know the lord is working <laughs> you know salakia for um digressing i want to give all praises all honor and all glory to call loyum like yahweh by shim yahweh shah by shim double honors to my apostles the elders of great millstone who teach and do rule well peace and salutations to the akim across the four corners of the earth giving this preaching this truth with faith and with sincerity as well as risking their lives and the freedom to do so now more so than ever shalom to the aquat and the akim out there listening learning lord willingly this was edifying Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of other nations, appearing like the other nations, but subscribing to this truth. To you, I say Shalom. The brother Yahweh Sapp out of the GMS Cleveland Church, a fellow servant, coming at you with another lesson through the spirit, through the power of Yahweh Shemiel Shah. And um, basically, you know, I should have got that out, but, you know, I was bringing out scriptures and then it made me just think of different stuff. So, Salaki, if I went off, but, you know, the, the Lord, you know, you can't take away the Most High's glory. So, um, but, um, you know, I saw this article and it just made me want to, you know, because when you go into it, basically all these holidays, this high holy days. Well, these holidays, these are not high holy days. We have high holy days. We are actually in a high holy day right now, um, mm -hmm. which is the Feast of Tabernacles. Um, you know, and basically it's going into the remembrance of when we were in the wilderness, when we were living and dwelling in tents. And you're supposed to remember all these different things, you know, um, you know, uh, what Yahweh Bashim Yahweh did for me and, and, and our nation. And just, you know, it's a, it's a time of remembrance. It's a memorial. Um, and, um, you know, you got, um, you know, it's spiritual because um, Brothers was bringing that out. You know, the last major high holy days been falling on, um, or these holidays been falling on the major high holy days. And that's showing you how the most high Yahweh Bashim Yahweh is making a distinction of those that's choosing to worship Yahweh Bashim Yahweh and those that have to, who are not choosing. Matter of fact, I had that scripture lined up, so that's the spirit, because it's John 4 and verse uh, 23, because it's great, it reads, it say, but the hour come up and now is when the true worshipers shall worship the Father in spirit and in truth for the father seek of such to worship him. So you got these people, you know, that given lip service, but you know, at the end of the day, if you a true believer, you believe yourself to be a Hebrew Israelite, you're going to be doing the customs of a Hebrew Israelite. You're not going to be partaking in Labor Day or these goofy ass holidays that's, you know, Esau promotes, you know, Thanksgiving. When you go into the history of that, Thanksgiving is basically them celebrating, conquering, and, 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 and basically massacring Gad, you know, the Northern Kingdom tribes. So, you know, and a nigga won't even want to go into the history of that. Even Nick Cannon, little weird ass, went into that. You know, him and Professor Griff. So, you know, but our people are truly destroyed. And, you know, to the point where our people were beaten down to the point the Lord gave us that, 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 that blessing of um, allowing us to come back to remembrance of who we were and our people were, you know. Now you got individuals like Nick Cannon. And I can't say the Lord can't spare him or, you know what I mean, but... You know, it ain't looking too good for him, you know what I mean? Because when he was put in a position, you got these position, you got this um, platform. And when you was put in a position um, to actually utilize it, what did he do? He ran. 
you know. That's why scriptures talk about uh, it's a um, hard thing for a rich man to, to enter in the kingdom of heaven, enter the kingdom of heaven, because they're trying to hold on to what they got. But um, how's the spirit that they just lined up like that? So I'm going to read a little bit of this article, because basically we all know inflation kicking everybody <laughs> in Babylon's in the, in the rear. And um, they, they basically just bringing out what people already know, you know, uh, people going to people are basically spending less and, and they like fuck the, even these pagan holidays, these feast days because of the fact of they, there's inflation, you know, everybody's miserable. Everybody, uh, feeling some kind of way because they feel like they working harder, but not, um, uh, basically they, they, you, you, the American dream is slipping out of your, uh, you know, your grasp and your, and your mindset. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's for those that already got it or affiliated with this system. Cause th those are just nine to five. You, you got people working two and three jobs trying to keep up. You know what I mean? Like, no, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, not for me. You know, I got a lot of going on right now, period. To try to stay afloat in the scriptures, be brotherly, um, study, and, and, and do your videos, you know, is enough. You know what I mean? Like, don't get me wrong. You got some brothers with certain... I, I finally get what the elder was saying about um, it's different levels because you got different spirits. You got... I know brothers that can do 20,000 things. When You know what I mean? Where some brothers basically maintain it, what they got going. Some brothers fall off, you know what I mean? It's all... Um, basically, um, depends on the, the uh, amount of, of the spirit the Most High gave you. But I'm going to read a little bit of this, and it, it's, it just proved my point. It says, Americans won't be going crazy with holiday gifting this year. You know, and that's going into the Most High despising those feast days. The kids, the grandparents, the babysitter maybe, your favorite aunt or uncle, that's it. So that's what he's saying. They're they going to um, basically, uh, the, um, basically, uh, what's the word? Um, uh, basically, um, consider buying a gift for, for these holidays. <laughs> you can blame inflation for families knocking friends, coworkers, and extended families off your holiday gift list this year. Persistent inflation, consumer prices increased by 8.5%, which is just going to constantly increase. You know, I was listening to the brother Bacora Moff, and he was going into that. When you go into this, they cannot fix this. And they just banking on Americans being so stupid to uh, literally just sit back until they got this situated the way they want you know now the thing is i'm trying to figure out but you know what they'll do to me because in my opinion just speaking as a man but you know you got the u.n troops but you also got a lot of retired military you know that's what donald trump used when he was running um for presidency you know he came to cleveland and when he was here it was um you know he had like a um like an escort that was basically you know had military that was in unmarked cars and um, I was homeless at the time, and I'll never forget. Um, they they was on like um, a certain area where Esau Moore um, dwells. When I was homeless, and I happened to be over there, I happened to see him. You know, they, 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 they these was like private contractors, like militia. You know, you know they walking around with assault weapons, and you know, like the brother. Uh, no, he ain't a brother. That was a nigga. But he was talking about them AR joints that's about the size of your forearm. The the mini the mini jokers. You know. Not the big long ones, but the, the yeah, you know, they got um, pistols on their hip and they, they ankle and knives and, you know, shotgun, assault shotguns and all kind of stuff. Has reshaped, uh, it says in July over last year, has reshaped how we are budgeting for everyday necessities and occasional indulgences. Prices are up for everything from groceries to clothing, shoes, stationary items and more. It also forced many households to tap into their savings or rack up more credit card debt just to keep up with the higher cost of living. And usually most people that actually celebrate these uh, wicked ass holidays, they go into debt around Christmas time anyway, because, you know, you're trying to you really in that spirit of, oh, yeah, uh, you know, like you're going to get a blessing <laughs> because you, you bought all these people gifts. You know, <laughs> and then when you go into the actual the true understanding of what, you know, that holiday is, you know, understand the paganism behind it. It says over the past year, credit card debt has jumped by 100 billion or 13 percent. You got people that's putting themselves in debt, but ain't even paying their bills. So what do you think they're going to do? You think they really going to say, oh, well, that's too bad and we can't just evict you. You'll just stay. no, because the government is no rent moratorium right now and nothing like that. Shit, Biden even talking about uh, I got to do that my damn stuff, but Biden even talking about you got to literally um. Uh, the, the, you know, because basically he 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 did that student to eliminate some of that student debt because he's basically going to um 
make repayments, starting repayments back up next year. So 2023 is going to be a hell of a year. You know, <laughs> I was listening to Brother Karamoff going to, you had um, high school, or well, not high school, school like college students, I think in the UK, you know, worried because they're like, damn, their future don't seem as bleak as they thought it was. It says, what does the mean, what does all this mean for the upcoming 2022 holiday shopping season? Less and a lot less. It'll be a stark contrast from last year's robust holiday performance, according to a new forecast from consulting firm um, Deloitte. It expects retail services for the key year in gift buying months of November, December, and January when post-Christmas gifts cards are redeemed to increase four to six. These com This compares with a robust 15.1% percent increase for the same time frame last year but the year's expected slower growth is in line with the with where holiday retail sales were trending pre-pandemic the thing is this though they already had a lot of these retailers were already having issues like walmart walmart was up there talking about you know that they had expected sales and then they looked at the way that their sales going and they like oh shit you know <laughs> so at the end of the day, all this is gonna do is affect the economy even more so call a law, you lie, y'all about shot. And it's just going back into how the Lord is actually despising these feast days, these um holidays. You know, I'm gonna get this um Isaiah chapter 24. Because the next what you you got you got um what well, Labor Day, and then I think the next major um holiday is Thanksgiving. But you know, when you talk about this gift and gift giving and whatnot, that all goes back to that pagan holiday Christmas. So, you know, when you saying this gift gift and gift giving, that's what you think of. Well, the the people are so um, you know, basically just um depressed and 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 and, 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 and you know just messed up because the mirth of the land is gone. Uh, they're like, fuck get you a gift. You know what I mean? Like this is a book of Isaiah chapter twenty four of the uh We'll start at verse four. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth and fade away. The haunting people of the earth do languish. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof because they have transgressed the laws, changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore have the curse devoured the earth and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therein, therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned and few men left. The new wine mourneth, the vine languisheth, all the merry hearted do sigh. The mirth of tabrets ceaseth. The noise of them that rejoiceth endeth the joy of the harp ceaseth. They shall not drink wine with a song. Strong drink shall be bitter to them that drink it. Yeah, because like I said, again, a lot of people ain't seeing no hope. You got people that are working and, and that's why you have that trend, that quiet and quit. And people going to work and they're like, well, fuck these people. You know, they don't want to give me no raise. You know, you have a few um, different companies that gave out raises. But, you know, to keep up with the inflation, because inflation is constantly increasing. I mean, every time you read an article that's talking about inflation, it's talking about inflation increase. increase. You think these companies going to want to continue to give you a raise every time, you know, inflation kicks? You know that's not about to happen. If anything, they're going to start laying people off. And that's that's depressing people. <laughs> so that people are like, well, shit, I'm gonna come to work and do nothing. You got people getting fired, you know, because um, they they expect you to lightweight uh, be in, um, not insubordinate but submissive. You know what I mean? Because you know, hard times. You know, some people look at you know you know like with the whole um, jump shop situation. You had people that got put in a situation when they was like, well, I need this to um, feed my family. And then look at how the Lord, you know, did it because you have people that actually succumbed and took that and then they not even pressing it like that. You know, so, I mean, it depends on industry, I guess. So, yeah. It says, verse 10, the city of confusion is broken down. Every house is shut up that no man may come in. There is a crime for wine in the street. People want understanding. You know, all joy is dark and the mirth of the land is gone. And the city is left desolation and the gate is smitten with destruction and you seeing the beginning destruction of this place now like i said with the supply chains with uh you know just it's an increase in violence like you like you know you cannot believe well the brothers in the truth can believe it but you know um you know i've been doing videos recently about just uh, it's a lot of violence a lot of judgment you know uh, all you're gonna do is see more and more of that um i, I want to find a scripture because basically when you go into um christmas um uh, or yeah christmas you know it's a pagan holiday and the scriptures tell you not to celebrate it you know um so when you go into the book of jeremiah chapter 10 um 
verse starting at verse one, it says, Hear ye the word which the Lord Yahweh Bashim Yahweh shall speak up unto you, O house of Israel. So this is talking to the Israelites because basically we have our own customs, our laws, our own laws, statutes, our own high holy days. But again, as I brought out um, you know, Leviticus and Second Kings, how the people always wanted to um the Israelites wanted to like partake in the customs of the other nations. It's even so much so when um you know, basically when um, the Israelites came to Samuel and said, give us a king like the rest of the nations. Now, the king of the Israelites is Yahweh Yahushua. But yet still, they wanted to be so much like the other nations and have an actual king. So the Lord did it so cold. He allowed the people to pick somebody, which was Saul. But then the Lord said, no, I'm going to have somebody that's more after my own heart, which was David. Because King David, you know, has has, has a, had a faith and love the Lord to the to the point where you know when you go into that is and and that's a proof of another thing too. People say that the Most High doesn't have favorites or have, um, show favoritism. Well, David committed a sin unto death. So how does it you know if it's a sin unto death and the Lord literally didn't judge him unto death, then that's showing you that the Lord could do whatever He want and that He does have favorites. You know, the scriptures talk about, uh, how, how is it worded when he talks about, uh, the Lord, uh, damn, how did, how did, it's on the tip of my, um, uh, tongue too. I can't think of it, but it, it's a scripture to talk about how, uh, the Lord, um, basically he could choose who he want to judge and who he chooses and who he want to, you basically, uh, you know, leave exempt. So, uh, verse 2, it reads, Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh, shall learn not the way of the heathen, and be not dismayed at the signs of heaven, for the heathen are dismayed at them. This is the point. For the customs of the people are vain, you no, know, they traditions. For one cut of a tree out of the forest, the work of the hands of the workmen with the axe. Now, what tradition do this make you think of? Verse 4, they deck it with silver and with gold. They fasten it with nails and with hammers that it move not. They are upright as the palm tree, but speak not. They must needs be born because they cannot go. The point is, it's say, learn not the way of the heathen. So the way of the heathen is one of these customs, and this custom is basically Christmas. You take in a tree, you cut it down, then you stick a, a nail in it so it's secured to the ground, then you deck it in silver and gold. So while people believe that Christmas is a, a holiday that goes back to the Bible. It's actually spoken of in the Bible not to actually partake into it. So showing you how much people don't really read the Bible. And again, going back to that Amos chapter five, verse 21 about um, the Lord despise of these feast days. So you're going to you're going to see, like I said, I go, I would be surprised if some major catastrophe happened around one of these major holidays. Cause like I said, you know, you got a lot of violence, so you know what I mean? I, uh, you know, but everything is the will of Yahweh Shem Yahushua, so all we can do is sit back and wait and see. Um, watch as well as pray, you know. So um, if you're so-called black, Hispanic, Native American, Seminole, Indian, West Indian, or Haitian, I implore you to come back up out of Babylon, you know, come out of her ways, you know, um, come back to the law, statute, commandments of your power, Yahweh Shem Yahushua, or you will be judged. And with that, I want to give all praises, all honor, and all glory to call Allah, Yom, like Yahweh Shem Yahushua, Shem Rechakadosh Say double honors to my apostles, the elders, a great millstone who teach and do rule well. Peace and salutations to the Akim across the four corners of the earth, pushing his truth with faith and with sincerity, as well as risking their lives and the freedom to do so. Now more so than ever. Shalom to the Akwat and the Akim out there listening and learning. Lord willingly, this was edifying. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners. Shalom to the Israelite foreigners scattered abroad in the land of the other nations, appearing like the other nations, subscribing to this truth. To you, I say shalom. Till next time I'm able to come with another lesson. Shalom, shalom. I'm a waffle of a boy. Shalom.